Okay, here's an example using Euler's method for approximating a solution to a differential equation numerically. So in this case, we have the differential equation y prime equals x plus y over x minus y. We have an initial condition of y evaluated at zero is five, and then we want to approximate y evaluated at two with a step size of one half. So let's lay out the x terms first. So that means we know x of 0 equals 0. We know x of 1 equals, so 0 plus 1 step, so that will be 1 half. We know x of 2 equals 0 plus 2 steps, so that's 1. x of 3 equals 3 halves. And then x of 4 equals 2. So it looks like we're going to need to do 4 steps. So we need 4 steps, you know, which is obvious from looking at it, but I like to lay out all the x values so we know exactly what we're getting into. So that's the first thing. The next thing is to recall um, Euler's, you know, iterative formula. So here we have y of 0 equals y evaluated at x of 0. So in that case, this is 5. And then... <clears throat> We have y of k plus 1 equals y of k plus h, and then f evaluated xk, yk, and this will be approximately equal to y evaluated x sub k. And I should point out that here we're using the standard notation that this function f is given by in this case, x plus y over x uh, minus y, the right-hand side of this differential equation. Okay, good. So from this set setup, we can perform this iteration four times. So now we have y1 equals y of 0 plus h. So h times f of x0, zero, y0. Zero. Okay, good. So this is going to be equal to 5, that's our initial condition, plus 1 half, so that's our step size given right here, times the quantity, now we have x0 plus y0, so that will be 0 plus 5, all over, so x minus y, so that will be 0 minus 5, Okay, good. So now, putting that all together, we see that we have 5 minus 1 half. So 5 is the same thing as 10 over 2, so that's going to give us 9 over 2. And so that approximates the value of y of 1 half. Okay, good. Now we can keep going. So we have y of 2, so that will be equal to y of 1 plus the step size, and then f evaluated at x1, y1. Good. So here we have x1 is a half, and y1 is 9 halves. So let's see, that'll give us 9 halves, so that's y1, plus our step, which is a half, and then we have the sum of x and y, so we'll have 1 half plus 9 halves over the difference in x and y, so that will be 1 half minus 9 halves. So I'll spare you the arithmetic, but that will give us 31 over 8. So this is equal to 31 over 8, so that is approximately equal to y of 1. In other words, y of x2. So we need to do this two more times. So we'll have y of 3, so that'll be equal to y of 2, plus our step, and then f evaluated at x2, y2. Good, so we know y of 2 was given by the last step, so that'll be 31 over 8 plus our step size of a half times the quantity, the x value at the last step minus the y value at the last step. So the x value at the last step, sorry, I should say plus, the x value at the last step was 1 plus the y value, that's 31 over 8. 1 minus 31 over 8. 
Good. So I've worked that out. That's equal to 5, 5, 7 over 184, which is approximately equal to 3.03. .03. And so that's also approximately equal to Y evaluated at 3 over 2. Now we have one more step because we want y evaluated at 2, which is x of 4. So here we have y of 4 is equal to y of 3, sub 3 I should say, plus h, f, x sub 3, y sub 3. Good. Just following Euler's iterative formula more. So that will give us, so here we use this 5, 5, 7 over 1, 8. 4 plus our step size, which is a half, and then Euler's formula, so we have 3 halves plus 5, 5, 7 over 1, 8, 4 over 3 halves minus 557 over 1, 84. Good. So I've calculated that. And that is equal to um, 79,881 over 51,704, 51,704. And that is approximately equal to 1.54, which is in turn approximately equal to Y evaluated at and so we have approximated y eval evaluated at 2 using a step size of a half given this differential equation and this initial condition.